Recently, I tried to marry my ex-wife, but she finally figured it out. She said, hey, you just want to marry me for your money. <laughs> just say, and in the state of California, I can legally carry a firearm, but I legally have to wear a mask, right? However, in the state of California, a person does commit criminal possession of a gun, of a firearm, when that person, said person, carries a firearm in a public place or on any public street while masked. Okay, then let's break that down so I can carry a gun and I can wear a mask, but not at the same time. Uh, but if I do one without the other, if I carry the gun, uh, blah, blah, blah. You get it. They got to kind of fix that. It seems to be a little mixed up, but that governor, California, he's his own worst enemy anyway, but he's always going out and he's like all liberals. He says, y'all got to stay home, but not me. I can go and do what I want to do. But hey, he has shut down the fifth largest economy in the entire world, right? There's now more than one million signatures. I think there's a one and a half million required to get him out, oust the man, have a recall thing, right? <sighs> Should be more simple than that. But any of it, it is what it is, and it's been tried numerous times in the state of California and so many other places as well. But in California, it's only been accomplished once. That was in, accomplished in 2003, Democrat Governor Gay, Gary Gray, Gray, I think. Gray Davis was replaced by Republican Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Who would have thunk? That's kind of cool info. This is an old story because these liberals, they all do it. Democrat governor out of uh, Rhode Island. You know, she's, you guys stay home. I don't have to. She's out drinking wine at a bar and everybody else has to stay home. I mean, I got to tell you, recall, recall, stupidness. How do you deal with people like this? They really think that the citizenry is so dumb and so stupid and so inferior to them that you got to do what I say. It's kind of like having a two-year-old or something. Don't you dare eat chocolate, but then I'm going to have a chocolate bar. Maybe that's okay then. We're not two now. <laughs> Leave us alone. Donald J. Trump, he's exiting the White House as a private citizen, perched atop a, a pile of cash. This is unprecedented. A quarter of a billion dollars of campaign cash that hasn't been used, wasn't used, and as an outgoing president, he actually gets to spend it with few, if any, legal limits. I find that kind of astonishing, really, $250 million. That's a lot of dough. And the interesting part is, is as it was coming in to the tune of close to $800,000 an hour after the election. That's a lot of money. I don't know about that. Who would have believed <laughs> that if you're smoking pot at a family gathering, the illegal part is the family gathering, <laughs> COVID. Oh boy, just another piece of craziness. Canadians, they face travel restrictions uh, and will for many, many years. I mean, borders are closed now, but many years from now, it's still going to be there. So what's the Canadian government doing? They're giving away billions of dollars, billions. Taxpayers don't have the money. They're giving away billions of dollars to other countries and they say this, people in Canada must be free to travel if they wish. We want to make sure that when they travel to Bangladesh or someplace, that they don't bring the virus back with them. So we have to repair or fix everybody in the world. Good bloody great. I, leave us alone. What are you doing? It's just terrible. But but that's the five mistake. That's his administration. That's what he does. I mean, he's always giving money away. You have to keep on beating your citizenry up every day. And he's doing a good job of that. Rise up, boys and girls. I mean, I got to tell you what. Profoundness coming. It's not about who you offend. It's about who you inspire. Speak up. Talk about what's right. And um, talk about what's left. I had those in left field. They should be talked about as well, because don't be shy, because they ain't your friends. They act like your friends, but what's right is right, and what's left is wrong. And it's an, I'm going to repeat, it's an important thing. And I know you know this, so I'm not trying to teach you anything. I'm just trying to remind you what you already know. It's not about who you offend, it's about who you inspire. Have a happy day, no matter what. See ya.